You have signed up for a free OneBiz app account from Chapman IT and your first task is to set up your company. Before we look at the My Company settings, this landing page has a few settings of interest. Sometimes you might want to force data on the server to be downloaded to the local PC. Click here to do that. Next, notice that automatic editing is checked by default. This means that when you enter pages they already will be in edit mode. Turn it off if you don't want this. Now, the main menu settings. Underneath this settings submenu is the main menu. All of OneBizApp's main areas are here, and other videos cover all of these areas in detail. Notice how each menu item has a colour bar alongside its title. Documents are green, tasks are orange, etc. This whole screen is purple, which identifies it as settings. Now we've clicked on My Company, and first note that we're already in edit mode. The top bar is used to save or cancel the editing, and also to order support hours from Chapman IT. If you are buying support from your business partner, then please arrange with them directly. Finally, you can convert your free account to a paid account, or vice versa. Much of the company information is completed from the sign-up form. Your company name is filled out and OneBizApp has created a unique company code. This will be used if you refer new customers to us to get cash back. It is also used if you're using OneBizApp contact us or use web widgets on your website. The referrer code is the company that receives cash back from your subscription. If you subsequently refer customers, then your code will go here for you to earn potentially unlimited cash back. Next, your company type. Are you a sole trader, limited company, etc.? This field is used in the accounting module. The next two fields are your VAT number and your default tax code. Your company and VAT numbers are used on your documentation and emails, etc. Next, enter your financial year start and your leave year start. The standard day's leave will default for new staff in your company. And if your company policy is to allow staff to carry holiday forward, check this box. Enter your default payment due days in the box which is used in accounting. Different companies use different terminology for jobs, so OneBizApp gives you the ability to define the word for what you call a job. A job in OneBizApp is defined as a single piece of trackable work with a start and end date that can go through stages in its life cycle. It would normally be a chargeable piece of work if it was for an external customer. Support hours remaining is a read-only field. Paid users can be changed by you to tell Chapman IT if you want to upgrade or downgrade your account. If you want to become a OneBizApp business partner, check this box. By doing this, you could earn support and training fees directly from your referrals by other OneBizApp customers. If you are using OneBizApp web hosting, your web URL will appear here. If you are interested in having your website hosted, please go to the OneBizApp website. The email managed domains is a powerful OneBizApp function giving you the ability to automatically manage incoming and outgoing emails independently or attached to jobs. There's a separate training video which goes into greater detail, and for more information, visit onebizapp.co.uk. You have now set up your company, and in the next video you'll create your company staff and security settings.